Then another that I know will not allow people, send people out there, go and stop Galamse. The people go, they rather go and engage in Galamse. Mm. They take excavators and, and sell it or do whatever it, and they are still working free. I don't know. That's not the Nanado. That is you know. not the Nanado I know. The Nanado I know will not just sit down and watch people do whatever they want. Nanado told me in his house, me and him, not when he was in opposition, mm. but when he became president, mm. that me, anybody who is corrupt in my government, I, I want to investigate. But like I said, Nanado is one person, he's a human being. Mm. And I think that he's been overwhelmed. The people around him haven't helped you him. You thought he brought the wrong crop of people around him. You are saying Because it was the exactly same concern when John Mahama was president. He said it, it was the babies who, around him. Babies it it didn't shakti. start from John Mahama's time. It started from the Garden of Eden. God asked Adam, what okay. happened? He said, the woman you gave to me. Right. It was the people around Adam, and he, whether it's the devil or mm. whoever. Mm. So these things have been there. But I expected Nana. Mm. And Nana made a statement. I think it's the age... Age is also part of it. Oh, you think age is telling on his decisions? Our, when we were young, our fathers were vibrant. vibrant mm. And then they get to a certain age. Mm. and So I think that is also part of it. And, and It's part of the reason you're scoring him 20. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It, but, uh, but I'm, he has I'm, become a pastor. Oh, Nanado has become a pastor. Yes. What do you mean? We, 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 when we, we knew we, Nana in 2008, uh -huh. we would have were very close to him. Uh -huh. When Nanadu says five, it's five. You know how he, you know how he keeps his time now. Yeah. If you call Nanadu to come here at five a.m., he's here at five. Mm -hmm. He's this principled person, but I think that he has become lenient. And you keep saying we, those close to him, yes. we. So you were part of the people who were close to him. I'm still close now, to him. You're still close to Nanadu. Why don't people get it that? What was the last time you called you called him? Oh, Nanadu. The last time we spoke, Nanadu called me. When was it? Uh, let's leave that one. No, but it, I just but want it's not, to know. But, yes. You know why? Because I'm interested in some of these bad nuts that are around Nanado. Because you keep saying, yeah. we those close, we those close. Yeah. Now, you are part of the people who are close. I didn't even think you were still close. So, Mumu, why and a 2 Oh, in terms of a 2 you know, mm. it's one thing. Okay. And in terms of people who have been appointed to, to uh, and given mandates to... Like who? Like a lot of them. Like who? Uh, one. Mm. I'm not going to mention them. I'm going to tell you. I'm going you to give you some them. example. Okay. No, not description. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay. Somebody comes out and tells the, the people of Ghana that we want to go and buy a new presidential jet. Mm. The next moment, you are looking at taxing people sending 100 Ghana mm. to their poor relatives in their village. Okay. You want to tax, you want to buy a plane. You are still coming back to e levy then. You, you are coming to, you want, you're looking for money from poor people, mm. but you want to buy a plane. This kind of communication won't help Nanado. But they said, but the, the, yeah. the, the other day we were told that if you have 100 Ghana CD to send, you are not poor. So which poor people are you talking that about? That kind of communication by that other person too that you just mentioned, uh. it's one of Nanado's problems, which includes people like Abronye. Abronye. Yes. Why no no? The one guy is the original chairman of the party. Ah. Which includes people like Abronye. It also includes people who think that we are stupid. This is not 1993. Who in the government right now thinks we are stupid? A lot of them, especially their communicators, think that they think that everybody in Ghana today is mad. Because the they fact are, that I'm not their an, defense doesn't make sense. It, 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 it's, it's weak. It doesn't add up for you? Should we use the right words? Yes, use the right words, please. The, some, some of the defenses that they put up on, on TV mm. is very stupid. Like Look, let me give you a typical exactly. example. You have one guy who's standing somewhere in Europe and says, eh hey, Moshe Petro, you're turning two euro. Mm. One of MPP's downfall is their chairman called Abronye. What? That guy, I don't know what goes through his head. Onyewa downfall. If this is my friend, do I care? I'm telling you what, what I think about him. Okay. You are standing there, and then you have, a, you have you buy a filling station. One of the, he said, here, petrol is two euros. If somebody makes 100,000 euros a year and buys well for two euros, you are comparing that to somebody living at Odoko who does not make $5,000 mm. a year, mm. who does not make $2,000 a year. And you are telling them that because in Germany, petrol is two euros per liter, and Ghana, 
two euros in Ghana is uh, 15,000. Mm. Therefore, uh, Ghana government has done well. Mm. And that Ghana government imports petrol from Germany. Mm. When? Since when? Mm. So they, they, they make you look like, like as a wedgie me. They don't respect the people who voted for them. But they are seeking so, to break the eight. That, yeah, that is fine. Everybody must be ambitious. I love people who are ambitious. You think it's just an ambition? It is a wow. Is it a fruitful? They are, they, they, they are, they are, they are over ambitious. But it's good. I like people who are ambitious. People must be ambitious, and and sometimes it works. Do you think they can break the eight? I don't think so. With this current attitude, I don't think so. I think that the only way they can break the eight mm. is when they understand that Ghanaians are not mad. Mm. Ghanaians are understanding. Mm. And, and they use their own lifestyle mm. to tell people that we need money. Mm. You cannot go out there and tell people that, I want to take part of your momo. However, we are buying the new V8. We are flying. The president is traveling and they are sleeping in whatever hotel. Mm. You, have to be, you have to live it mm. for the people to support you. Mm. You cannot, we cannot always be hearing about corruption. We cannot act like we are stupid people in this country. We have to look, everybody, and it's not about coming people as being a blogger, you ask that question. That is not important. We have a country, our com district assembly, uh, how do you call it? Our uh, uh, decentralization mm. is very simple and clear in the mm. constitution. Mm. Go and read the constitution about decentralization. Mm. It tells you why we have unit committees. Mm. It's governance starts from the grassroots. Mm. You go to every assembly, there is a unit committee, there is an area council, there is so and so it comes to the district assembly. Then it goes to the uh, uh, municipal mm. and metropolitan. Mm. All of these assemblies have about, in every unit, they have about 30 something people running a small unit. When we, when we talk about unit committees, like TV3, this mm. area, mm. Mm. it's a small unit. Mm. You have about 30 something people. They should know who was born and they should know who died in this area. Mm. In 10 years, you don't have to find 500 million to go and give to somebody and say we are going to count the people again. What is the use of decentralization? Mm. It, it should have done that. The people there must always, at every given time, mm. report to the uh, assembly. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, not all the politicians in this country understand that you are living on my tax money, and so you have to be humble. And you have to allow me to tell you what I feel. I'm not living on the taxpayer's money. Mm. Yes. You, your, your, you, your livelihood depends on our taxes. Mm. So you have to listen to us. Mm. And I believe that he's, he's a different politician. Uh, ever since I started talking about him, he, I've not met him personally, but he has come down through some people to explain and has offered to meet me to explain what is happening and the kind of reforms and the fact that it is very difficult to, 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 to introduce new reforms because the people have been used to something, something for some time. And so, and I think that his consultation didn't go well. But there's one thing that I look out for mm. from politicians, like Honorable mm. Kumsin, mm. when she went and did her Rambo things, mm. and I was In coming Kaswa. after her. Yeah, she called me. There are people who think that, oh, she called you. I'm sure she gave you some money. The, people, the brains are so corrupt that they always think that. And then when something happened again and I started attacking her, then they knew that, yes, it's not about the money. I'm dealing with the issue. So the education minister, I'm not too happy with, his, with some of his policies and the fact that you come out with, uh, with a semester program. Then tomorrow you go back and say you want to go, mm. uh, go back to. It means that mm. you, you can't make decisions. Mm. You are not uh, uh, up to the, the. But however, I think that he's one of the few people that if we support. The educational minister. Yes, if wow. we support him. He's somebody who engage. Okay. He's somebody who explain. Mm. Not like the criminals who want to go to court. You say, hey, this is happening here. Tomorrow morning, I've taken you to court. They have taken me to court. Ah, I'm tired. Why would people be happy with Ejapa? So Ejapa is something I'm not happy about. Uh, Levy is something I'm not happy about. Just that I don't like the noise. If you are a fool and you wake up and go and do a demonstration and they shoot you and you die, and this will come to power, they won't cancel Levy if it is passed. Hmm. So me, 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 I don't fight for Ghana. I'm not fighting for Ghana. So who are you fighting for? I thought you were the people's person. I'm fighting for myself. Listen carefully. You are surprised, eh? I'm fighting for myself, for my family, and the people who believe in the fight that no, I'm fighting. Since no, when, since when did that change? Because Please, you, you, were, listening? you were the champion of the people's project. And the, the problem that we have here is that you, don't, you are not listening to me. I'm listening. Good. Thank you very much. I fight for myself, my family, and the people who believe in what I do.
if you don't believe it, it's not by fault. Jesus Christ said, go to the houses and go and preach to the people. Those who listen, bring them. Those who don't listen, wipe your feet and go. <laughs> so why am I forcing myself on everybody? That's what I'm saying. You have to listen carefully. In this country that we live, my kids live in London. They have everything. I'm fighting for children getting health care. And, and those people, their parents are the same people who come and say, so what, what do, does health care concern me? If people, children won't get health care. Because your kids are in London. Of course. Which one concern me? Mm. But we have to fight for those kids. And if their parents don't want us to fight and the MPP people. You sit aloof. And, 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 and they're going to fight you. Go and find people who understand that it is important for the ordinary people to get health care. And fight for them. You cannot fight for everybody in this country. You can't. You understand? So what I do is not that I want to criticize everything. I want to talk about everybody. No. I'm looking at what affects which people. I've traveled across this country. Mm -hmm. I know every part of the north. Okay. I've traveled through Sola mm -hmm. to Tumu to Chuchuliga. I know everybody. I know their conditions. I can draw their conditions in 3D. And I know who wants to listen. Some people they don't care. There are people who were, who were born in areas where there is no electricity. So when they come to Accra and light goes off for one week, it's normal because in their entire life, they have never had electricity. Mm. You want to fight for those people, they will beat you. you. You talk too much, light off two days, then what? They have never had light. Some people who have never had health care, hospital, they've never been there. They came to Accra. And when you tell them about con the, the, the attitude of nurses, they get angry because they think that the nurse is doing them a favor. Mm. I came to hospital and the woman said, I should wait more than what? If she insults me, she said, oh, then what? Mm. So those people, it is very <clears throat> difficult to fight for them. There are people who were drinking from the same pond with animals. Today they come to Accra, they have water in some parts of Accra and they can store some and use it. So if the pipe goes off, they don't care. It is not easy to fight for those people. You will die in Guinea like Kwame Nkrumah. Okay. So even though you want to fight for everybody, you have to be careful. Jesus Christ was moving with 12 people, and you want to move with what? So you are, you are being careful in, 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 in selecting the people that you're fighting? Yes, I'm fighting for people who are being cheated. When you come to me, people come to my office every day. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody did this to me. I listen to you carefully. Mm -hmm. I look at, I, I assess how you think, mm -hmm. and I see if I can help you. Mm -hmm. Individuals need help. People... Like this woman who, who had two kids. The on baby, her back. The, the two babies at the back. Yes. You thought she had a better uh, message than Samajetifio's message. Samajetifio is, is a, a waste of everybody's time. The fact that we want to help people does not mean that I should wake up and every day wake up. Samajetifio is hungry, so everybody go and give him money. Uh, this person is. There is a lady called Efia Schwarzenegger. Not the original, not the Efia Schwarzenegger we all know. Okay. But when Efia Schwarzenegger left, most people don't know that Efia Schwarzenegger is a TV. Series. It's a character. Yes. Yeah. If it's a TV series. So uh, there, there is a lady called Ifia Schwarzenegger okay. who uh, took over from the original Ifia Schwarzenegger. Now, this Ifia Schwarzenegger lady is an amazing person and everybody must support her. Not some adjective few. That is how I think. Okay, what does this Ifia Schwarzenegger lady do? She has a pub at Achimota petroleum area if you like call her that i'm coming to ghana on friday mm. i will land in accra at two midnight i want to eat fufu and, gra and grass cutter you get there the food will be ready it's ready how what money did she make from that if you was nigger series zero but how or is she funding the but October? she has been able to start from tabletop gradually gradually Gradually, today, she has a pub, and she's doing so well. That is the only place that, one of the, one of the few places where you can find food anytime. You can call her anytime she wake up and make At food the for Honda. you. Yes. Honda. She's working. Mm. So, you can't come and say, you drove one taxi. If you drove STC, like what will you do? You drove one taxi. Then, today, uh, somebody gave me this. Some people have given some few 900,000 Ghana CDs. She can't know Nine hundred thousand in a month, and that does not include the five thousand from a, 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 a one lady. The two thousand from here, the five hundred from here. <coughs> he has made over two hundred thousand uh, uh, from his issues, <laughs> anyway. and still. <laughs> and there's a woman who has two babies on her back, carrying a heavy load, and nobody's helping her. She's getting help.
Bella has joined me. Johnny Hughes has joined me. I, it, my final question before my colleagues come in. If we vote for you today as president, mm. in your first 100 days, what three things would you change? Agric. I'll cancel the cathedral. We'll turn it into a hospital for medical tourism where people can fall sick and come from all over West Africa to get health care. And I'll also have a policy that does not allow anybody to change education by their emotions. When you fight with your wife, no, come not. Every school child should go and wear red because I fought with my wife. There should be a policy. And that policy will come from the National Development Planning Commission. The National Development Planning Commission must be, must be equipped and must have the power to set policies for this country that will be difficult for anybody to change. If you take, for example, the voting of DCs, it became difficult because of the, 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 the law that we have in our constitution. That makes it difficult to change that one. The government, the, 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 those who uh, uh, put our constitution together know that if you take partisan politics to the grassroots, there will be fight. It is good. What we are seeing with these MPs and money sharing is going to be worse. And so they left that one like that. And so one, health, two, education, and three, a national development policy that will, direct, that will lead us. In this country, we don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are going. There's no direction. Every government comes and decides that this one was building hospital. Me, I want to build a hand coop. No, everybody does what they have. And Professor Mills, may his soul rest in peace, put together a national, uh, 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 a 40-year development plan. In fact, he put together a constitution review committee yeah. to look into reviewing our constitution. And the, 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 the committee came up with its report in 2014 and presented it to the president. And they made so many recommendations. Some of the recommendations included giving the National Development Planning Commission the power to, to, to plan projects or plan the development of this country. However, the government of the day didn't agree because the government of the day thought that people voted for us and we have to have the power to share the contracts. You understand? So we have to decide what we want to do. And when it happens like that, what will happen is that you have an auditor general who is telling you that you are losing $25 million every year to uncompleted projects because the projects are not nationally uh, 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 planned. It is people's feeling, Emotion. their childhood ambitions. That's ah. what they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody if you has gotten some help, yes. at least from the vice president, the yes. chief of staff and yes. all of that, what should be running through the mind of the NPP foot soldier? Because they gave it to him in confidence. Mm. He comes public to come and say those. Mm. The IMP foot soldiers who are looking for something small to start something small. Mm. They're not getting it. Mm. What should be running through their mind? God punish them. God punish you. The people, the foot soldier who didn't get anything. Why? And you are still on social media fighting, insulting. <laughs> Me. You mean Yamaha Hedia? No, no, no. I'm saying you are, if Johnny Hughes is talking against the government, foot soldier will be on social media insulting him. Mm. Uh -huh. So God, God punish them. So it's God that has punished yeah, them. Yeah, they will go hungry more. Hmm. Yes. Look, there's one thing that these food soldiers don't know. Hmm. The leaders of this country like people who are objective. Just that when it comes to politics, and, and everybody will like Johnny Hughes. Everybody. Hmm. Akufo, when he leaves power today, hmm. the next person is looking for Johnny Hughes. Because, you know, yes, now hmm. he's sitting on the bench hmm. and he's looking for somebody. Who would, yes. Hmm. So Akufo, unless you and you you engage in some form of uh, how do the how do the police call it uh, on, on, on whatsoever conduct uh, 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 well, uh, offensive offensive conduct. conduct then nobody will come after you mm. so the food soldier thinks that to get some 20 ghana always go and attack people go and mm. no i can pick my phone and call anybody in this country if they are wrong mm. i will talk mm. against them mm. i will talk against what they have done there is one thing i've used for example every day asamoyan it's my very good friend i was sitting at the stadium when he missed the penalty in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that hurt, hurt me. But so is Asamoja a bad person because he missed the penalty. He didn't do his work well. And I will talk about it every right. day. Asamoja didn't have to take that penalty. Mm -hmm. He had to give it to somebody else. Every day I will say, but he's not a bad person. Asamoja is not a thief. I, 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 if you want a national development agenda, it's by these technocrats. Mm -hmm. If you want this, it's by these <clears> people. <throat> and when you put it together, you give it to a, somebody who went to, to campaign to go and implement it. So every day you have all the beautiful whatever on paper, right. but the implementation is by people like Abron here. You have something against him? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Why? What do you have against him? On your quiet. 
is a party Isn't chairman. Too, can you yeah, imagine that a party chairman? Yeah. Can you imagine that a party that was founded by J. Kufuo, B. J. Darocha, B. J. Darocha, Odoi Sykes, Odoi Sykes, J. H. Mensa yeah. has a chairman like Abroye? Can't you see that? The, the, look at the, the the state of MPP now. Most of us joined MPP because we saw people. Johnny, Johnny, mm. if you liked MPP, say in the 90s or early 2000s, mm. it's because you were looking at the elite place. class. I'm mm. telling you. Today, the elite class are the Duji Tamaklos in the NDC. The, the stray bullet will hit uh, Chema Wun to me too. Yeah. The stray bullet you are firing. Uh, uh, you see, there's a problem. The so, problem is that I'm talking about Abronye. It may hit Chema Wun to me, it may hit Owusu Bempa, it may hit whoever. Today, those people, you can talk about them. Mm. Me, I'm talking about Abronye as a party chairman. Did he do something to you? Me. Well, Abronye does everything to everybody. But, but I don't care. I can meet Abronye today. We'll go and eat fufu. Mm. Yes, he's a human being. Look, me talking about an issue mm. and talking about a person are two things. If you know the relationship between Gabi and myself, mm. you'll be amazed that there have been times where I've disagreed with him. But there is nothing wrong with it. Okay, on yes. the issue. Yeah, let's deal with Not the issue. Not with the persona. No, let's deal with if, the issue. If 